Hello and welcome to a Nisa Europe online store video. Today we'll be showing you more Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk, a new dungeon exploration RPG available now on the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch and Steam. Previously we showed you character creation and dungeon exploration, but now we're back in the caravan to show you how you can strengthen your brigade. There are multiple ways for you to increase the power of your characters. The simplest method is by equipping them with the items you find while exploring, but eventually the dungeons will start to get more challenging and you'll need to find additional ways to make your characters stronger. You have access to different facilities in your caravan that will help you increase the power of your brigade, but all of them won't be available at the start of the game. You can buy consumable items that heal, revive or buff your characters at the market with silver coins. Most of the items in the market will help you while you're exploring the labyrinth, but others are necessary components in puppet repair and disassembly. You can gain silver coins by selling the items you find while exploring dungeons, and if you're lucky you may find rare items that are worth a lot. Usually weapons aren't worth many silver coins, but with the help of the alchemy pots they can be useful in another way. The alchemy pot can be used to synthesize equipment to make it stronger, disassemble items to gain additional mana, or to unseal equipment to reveal its full potential. When synthesizing, you can select one piece of equipment as the base. Then you can offer up to eight pieces of equipment that will be fused into it to permanently enhance it. Using synthesis will consume some mana, and the stats increased by fusing may vary. You can only enhance items once, so it's best not to fuse things haphazardly. If you want to increase a weapon's attack, it's easier to raise it by fusing it with other high attack equipment, especially if they're of the same type. Fusing rare equipment will also produce a stronger end result, so the higher the rarity, the better. You can take advantage of weapon synthesis to create really powerful items, so experiment to see what you can find. Disassembling an item requires disassembly fluid that can be purchased at the market. Most of the time disassembling an item will convert it into mana, but there are certain items called artifacts that function a little differently. When you disassemble an artifact, it will be converted into a soul vial instead of mana, and there's a chance that it will produce a high quality soul vial with a higher soul clarity. The higher the puppet soldier's soul clarity is, the stronger it can eventually become. So these soul vials can be used to create even stronger characters. The alchemy pot can also be used to unseal equipment. While exploring dungeons, you may come across equipment that is sealed. Sealed equipment will have most of the information hidden, and you won't be able to use it until it's unsealed. By spending some mana, you can remove the seal at the alchemy pot to reveal its name, rarity and stats. If you don't have access to the alchemy pot, you can still unseal the equipment by force. But if you unseal equipment in this way, you may not reveal its true potential. In Labyrinth of Refrain, your soul is trapped inside the legendary book, the Tractatus de Monstrum. Being in this form grants you immunity to the effects of the Labyrinth's dangerous miasma that prevents regular people from venturing inside. So the Dusk Witch Dronia has given you the task of exploring the labyrinth by commanding puppet soldiers. Dronia avoids entering the labyrinth herself, but she can still assist your brigade through Witch Petition. In Witch Petition, you can spend mana to receive different benefits from Dronia, such as increased item and puppet storage, abilities that let you auto-recover health after battles, new skills that can be used within dungeons, or even the option to increase the game's difficulty for better rewards. The puppet workbench is used to create puppet soldiers in your brigade, from soul vials and puppet parts. As you progress through the game, you'll eventually unlock an option that will let you customize your characters even more. The transfer soul option will let you extract a puppet soldier's soul and place it into a new puppet body. This will revert your puppet back to level 1, but it will keep some of the features from the old body. When you transfer a soul, you'll be able to transfer a certain number of skills. This means you'll be able to take skills from one facet and use them on another. Once a puppet reaches level 20, and then every 8 levels thereafter, an additional skill can be transferred, up to a maximum of 8 transferable skills per soul transfer. A puppet soldier can have up to 12 skills total, but there are 2 skills per facet that are unique and cannot be transferred. Transferring your puppet soldier's soul will increase its soul clarity, and performing a soul transfer when a character is at a high level will increase its soul clarity even more. Increasing your soul clarity is necessary for creating a powerful brigade, so remember not to neglect it. You have the potential to customize and create some very powerful characters in Labyrinth of Refrain. It can take a lot of preparation to create your perfect brigade, but this preparation will be necessary for the deadly enemies lurking within the Labyrinth. 
Labyrinth of Refret and Coven of Dusk is available now on the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch and Steam. On our online store we sell both the standard edition with a soft cover art book and an exclusive limited edition collector's box for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. This collector's box contains a two disc original soundtrack, a four lapel pin set, a hard cover art book with a metal bookmark, a deck of tarot cards and a copy of the game. Check the link in the description to visit our store and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest NISA Europe information, our social media links can be found in the description box too. To be the first to know when our next video is available, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive all our updates. And if you know anyone that would be interested in playing Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk, share this video with them so they can see what it's like. This was the final part of our Labyrinth of Refrain video series, but there will be videos for other games coming very soon. Let us know what existing or upcoming games you would like to know more about. And if you've had any interesting experiences while playing Labyrinth of Refrain, let us know all about them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next Nisi Europe Online Store video.